Board in the house, yeah, I'm in the house board. Board in the house, yeah, I'm in the house board. Board in the house, yeah, I'm in the house board. Good morning friends and good official morning to all my beautiful and sweet little nuggets. So I finally decided to vlog today after putting up my last video, my quarantine update chit chat video, which I'm really happy that you guys actually seem to enjoy because you guys know I don't really do chit chatty videos, but I was surprised by how many of you guys actually were interested in me vlogging. So today we're gonna do a day in the life in quarantine, maybe show you guys a little bit more of my food and what I'm eating, maybe talk a little bit about food. So yeah, I just kind of woke up clearly um, and I did kind of get ready a little bit. Well, not exactly because this has been my quarantine outfit for the past week. I am gonna go make myself some coffee and breakfast. Oh, we should say hi to the kids too. All they basically do is sleep and eat. So I guess we're kind of doing the same thing because that's all recently. Pretty sure Mim is under here somewhere. Mushki, are you under here? Where is she? Oh my god. Hi, sweetums. Oh no, no. Stay, stay. Okay. I woke her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. You gotta wake up. You can't sleep all day. And I'm pretty sure Beans is sleeping too in the other room. Look how cute he is. He's literally just like fast asleep. Oh shit. Sorry. Are you sleeping? Oh baby. Oh my god. He's so my demons have been exercised I am living proof that things do change over time It was painful but I still survived All right, so I just finished eating my breakfast I watched a little YouTube video while I was eating that um, I just wanted to kind of sit down with you guys and have a little talk about food and this whole quarantine thing A lot of us being forced to stay inside and not go to the gym. It's just a really weird thing. Even as an introvert who enjoys staying in, I have been feeling really isolated and kind of sad a lot and just it hasn't been doing my mental health very good. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys my advice, especially on the whole eating part of this quarantine thing. When it comes to food, I think that the most important thing for you guys to do right now is to eat normally. And I know there's no normal way of eating, but don't stop and go, okay, I'm not going to the gym. I'm not exercising as much. I can't eat what I used to. And you know, naturally you may find yourself not being as hungry because I find the days I work out, I'm a lot more hungry, but don't limit your food intentionally because if anything, that is how the binging cycle actually starts. And now I know a lot of you guys are probably worried because you're at home more, maybe you're bored and maybe boredom is kind of like a trigger just to start eating. But what I find is when you allow yourself to eat whenever you want, you will stop getting those cravings of, oh my God, I need to eat everything right now in front of me all the time. And I kind of already went through this process when I stopped dieting. Like I made a vow to myself, I'm never dieting again. I'm not dieting because when you diet, what you don't realize is you're putting these labels on food. Like you can't eat this, this is bad. And then kind of subconsciously, your body will crave that food more. And instead of eating, you know, one cookie, when you allow yourself to eat that cookie after dieting, you wanna eat the whole entire package because you just, you don't know when the next time you'll allow yourself to eat that cookie is. And I also realized that a big trigger, um, at least for me, was the fact that I would feel guilty for eating because I almost looked at eating as, you know, something that you have to reward yourself for being active. But again, that is so silly because food is literally not a reward and that's why I hate the whole ideas of cheat meals and like to me that's just kind of stupid because it's like basically telling your car that as a reward you're gonna get some gas and it's like well if you don't get gas you're not gonna be driving the car and the car's not gonna work so it's not really a reward it's basically a necessity so I kind of look at food in the same way and that's not to say that you can't enjoy food because I also think that some people are like food is strictly fuel when in reality I feel like part of living is enjoying food. Like it is okay to enjoy food. I eat food, you know, when I'm in bed and watching Netflix because I enjoy picking on popcorn and eating it. And that is fine. Enjoy food, eat stuff that you like and that makes you feel good. Because like I said, when you do that kind of stuff, then you're not 
getting these urges to binge out because you want something that tastes delicious because you're sick of eating cardboard food. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little bit crazy what we're dealing with, but I just don't want you guys to worry about food or eating or working out or any of that kind of stuff because this is stressful enough as it is. All right, so a little update for you guys. I literally have just been laying in my bed playing pocket camp on my phone. For those of you that don't know, I am literally an Animal Crossing fanatic. I used to sit in my basement at my dad's house and play Animal Crossing on GameCube for hours. And I'm playing pocket camp because unfortunately my Switch has not came in yet that I ordered plus the Animal Crossing game. So yeah, this is really helping me pass the time, but I'm gonna take a little break so that I can go have some lunch now. All right, so I'm sure you guys aren't surprised, but I am making some BLTs for lunch. I got my eggs cooking, some tempeh. Mimi, are you in here again bothering me? Yeah? Baby, you got lots of food, okay? Go eat. All right, so that is what I'm having for lunch. I got my two little BLTs right here, and I got my water, gotta stay hydrated. So yeah, I'm just gonna go and eat this and I was gonna say maybe watch some Netflix, but I still have nothing to watch on Netflix. I don't know what to what to start. Two hours later. Alright, they're in my freezer. I showed you guys these in my other vlog, but they were the original flavor, which I thought they only came in. And then I was at the grocery store the other day and I found apple cinnamon ones, which I literally only have two left because I eat them all the time. Okay, so I just put those in the toaster and I'm gonna have to get more of these when I go to the grocery store next. Yeah, I'm bored in the house, yeah, I'm in the house, bored. Bored in the house, yeah. Oh, this needs to go down a little bit. Yep. Bored in the house, yeah, I'm in the house, bored. All right, so there you have it. I literally just put some maple syrup on it and that's all you need. Now you're gonna watch me eat them because <laughs> we're all in quarantine and you've got nothing better to do. Seriously though, they taste like Apple pie. They basically taste like a fancy version of Eggos. Bougie Eggos. Okay, so I just had this great idea that because Connor can't be in the vlogs, um, we're gonna FaceTime him and see if he picks up, okay? Let's see. If he doesn't answer. Hi. <gasps> I'm vlogging. What are you up to? Um, Other than vlog. I'm just vlogging and I said that I would surprise FaceTime you because you can't be in the vlog, so here you are. Hi! <laughs> what are you doing? You just in your uh, room? Gaming. gaming. Just gaming. Are you bored? <laughs> Am I bored? Yeah. Yeah. Do you miss me? Of course. Aww. That's why I downloaded Animal Crossing too, so I can buy from your market box. Please. I was so excited. You bought, you bought an expensive one too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm bored in the house. Yeah, I'm in the house bored. <laughs> bored in the house. Yeah, I'm in the house bored. Oh, Yo, what? I wonder how long this is going to go on for. I don't know, bro. I don't know. When are you going to see me next? In a know. year? Imagine. Well, it was nice seeing you, sir. This is our virtual, our virtual date right here. Virtual relationship. This is my online, my e-boy. <laughs> okay, well... I love you. I'll see you later. Well, love actually, you. no, I won't. <laughs> I'll see you on the virtual reality later. Okay, come to my Animal Crossing village, okay? Okay, I'll come by your stuff. Okay, yay. <laughs> hey, bye. Bye. All right, well, there you have it. You can't say that Connor was not a part of this vlog. All right, so it has been a few hours, as you can tell. Um, it's really dark in here. I just have like, these tiny little lights on. Hopefully you guys can see me. Oh my god. So obviously, as you can tell, I am out of my house and in my car. Um, I did have to leave my house for a quick little second. I don't really talk about this much on here, but because we're doing, you know, a day in the life of quarantine, part of my quarantine job responsibilities, I don't know what you would call it, is taking care of my grandparents. Yeah, my grandma and my grandpa are like 85 years old and unfortunately he just lost his license. I got a phone call from him asking me if I could go pick up one of his prescriptions from the grocery store so I had to leave to do that and drop it off at their house. I am not going in to see them. I literally am just leaving it at their front door because obviously I don't want to get them sick at all and I'm very 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 worried about them. But yeah that's literally the only real reason that I'm leaving my house otherwise um, I'm staying in. So Anyways, I'm going back home now. I'm gonna have some dinner and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when I get home. You wanna make dinner with me? Okay, Mim's gonna help, okay? 
Want to show them? It's not for you, baby. I'm sorry. So yeah, this Annie's vegan mac and cheese. I'll do a little taste test for you, a little review. A little top chef, master chef Canada. All right, so we've boiled the little noodles in here. Now we gotta strain them. I'm really excited to see what this tastes like. Now I think all you have to do is stir in some, I don't actually, I don't know. Okay, you know, we're getting creative and we're gonna stir in some earth balance because the only kind of soy milk I have is vanilla. And I think that would be kind of dank. Just a scoop of this. We don't measure around here. Measuring's for amateurs. That smells like dirty feet. Okay, now we stir. We're gonna try it now. Mmm, that was good. That shit is fire. This actually tastes like, you know, like Kraft Dinner, the original Kraft Dinner. Guys, I'm just having the last few bites of my mac and cheese and I'm obsessed and I was deep cleaning my bathroom today, but I found this foot mask. So I was thinking maybe we could do that tonight. We'll have a little self-care night and do that as we watch our um, dateline. All right guys, so we're gonna do a little self-care with Jen right now. I'm still waiting for my dateline. I literally just got bored and was like, you know what, fuck it. We're gonna do a toe mask, foot mask, whatever you call it. This is the foot mask that I bought at Walmart. I have no idea if it's good, but we're gonna see if it helps these little toesies. Okay, so the feet have been properly washed. This takes 10 minutes to do. Let's see. What the hell is this? Is this a diaper? What the f <laughs> What is this? Oh, I think you rip it. Oh my God, this is the mask? <laughs> Why did I picture these to be so much more luxurious than this? These are garbage bags. Okay, what do I do? I put my feet in this? Oh, this feels so weird. Oh my God, it feels like I'm putting my foot into a bag of lube. What is, oh, this is so weird. I think, am I doing this properly? Guys, are you serious right now? <laughs> I'm about to lose my shit. Do you do this? Oh my God. Oh my. <laughs> I'm literally so rattled. I just, I envisioned in my brain this to be some kind of like bougie foot mask. And I'm like, what's good? <laughs> I have to wait 10 minutes. I brought myself a granola bar to snack on. I'm just gonna watch some YouTube videos and we'll see what's good. This is a really cute look. <laughs> Great, so it has been 10 minutes. I feel like it's been 10 minutes. It's been longer than 10 minutes. So now it says to remove them, no need to rinse. Okay, here comes the foot out of the bag. Oh God. Oh, I see. Oh, and then you just rub it around. Okay, I'm not gonna show myself. Oh, can you see this? I'm not gonna show this. <gasps> My feet feel so smooth right now. Wow, this is actually so good. Honestly, I'm gonna have the softest feet coming out of quarantine, okay? All right, well, I guess that was self-care time with Jen. That was not as relaxing as it should have been. I was literally dying. Two hours later. Guys, this is why I cannot be trusted alone. I just picked this friggin' zip. Oh my God, it's bleeding so much. Oh my God, what the hell? Yeah, I just finished watching Dateline and I was going to make a snack and then of course I had to take a detour to do this. Oh my God. I'm so mad at myself right now. All right, so tonight's little late night snack is gonna be, I'm gonna make a pizza on one of these little English muffins. All right, so this is what it looks like before it goes into the oven. This looks really pathetic, but I just did, um, I actually used pasta sauce. Oh, the oven's ready. But yeah, I used pasta sauce because I didn't have any pizza sauce. And then I did these little vegan pepperonis and then two different kinds of day of cheese. And this is what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. I wish that you could smell this, it smells so good. But yeah, that's gonna be my snack right now. I'm just gonna eat it with a fork and knife and yeah, looks delicious. All right guys, so I think that I'm just going to say goodnight because I need to go deal with my face and oh my God. But yeah, I'll probably be in bed in like 
half an hour, 45 minutes. So I'll say goodnight to you guys now. I hope that you enjoyed this kind of more laid back, relaxed style of vlog. I also hope that what I said about eating um, just kind of, I don't know, puts you guys at ease a little bit. But yeah, what a friggin' crazy time in our lives. And um, I guess I'll probably be doing another quarantine vlog for you guys because I don't know when the end of this is gonna be but I'll try and think of some fun ideas that we can incorporate in the vlogs and I know that I do have some sit down videos coming for you guys definitely stay tuned for that and yeah that's it for tonight probably gonna throw on Netflix I still have no idea what to watch hope that you have a good day a good night a good afternoon and I will see you guys in the next video whenever that is bye